All right. Um, now that I've calmed down, we really need to talk about Ben Simmons. Um, if I'm the 76ers, I, I think it's time to make a decision. You're going to either choose to keep Embiid or you're going to keep Ben Simmons because you can't have one or the other. This duo is not going to win you a championship. And based on what I've seen from both these players, I think it's safe to say, despite the fact that you're going to constantly deal with the injury issues of, ben, of um, Joel Embiid, I think it's safe to say you're going to need to trade Ben Simmons. I think it's time. It's over. Ben Simmons has to be traded. Ben Simmons has truly disappointed me. I think he's disappointed a lot of people. I'm not even a Sixers fan, but just watching this guy have all this talent. It's sad. It's sad. All this talent just being wasted. I know Sixers fans are probably done with him as well, but like Ben Simmons, Ben Simmons, the, he just he just needs to go. Ben Simmons needs to go. It's he needs to go. It's time for him to be traded because this guy, this guy just doesn't want it. Either he doesn't want it or he has lost all confidence in his ability to shoot the basketball. He's so afraid to go to the free throw line. It's it's bad. I mean, this guy here, I'm looking at this right now and I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. In the fourth quarter, throughout a seven-game series against Atlanta, in the fourth quarter, he is three of three from the field. He's taken three shots in the fourth quarter in seven games. That was in game one where he took two shots, in game three where he took one shot. So game two, four, five, six, seven, he didn't take a single shot in the fourth quarter. Then you look at him throughout the entire game. And you know this, he had two really good um, really good performances and one solid performance. Game one, 7-7 seven seven from the field, 17 points. Game three, 18 points, 7-11 from the field. Game four, 5-10 from the field, 11 points. That's not bad. You can get that from Ben Simmons. But game two, four points, two of three. Game five, eight points, two of four. Game six, six points, two of six. Game seven, five points, two of four. That is a max player. That is not a bench player. That's not a role player. This guy is out here for 30 plus minutes nearly every game. And he's giving you four to six shot attempts a game. How do you win with the max player doing this? How do you win? And just as a side note, what makes it worse is that at the free throw line, he's even worse. I think he has the lowest free throw percentage in postseason history. This this series, he had the lowest we've ever seen. Let me if I check this again, like you it, it's it's that bad. It's it's really that bad. And I'm not here to rag on Ben Simmons. Because again, the talent is there. That's not the problem. The talent is clearly there. Yeah. With a minimum of 70 attempts, Ben Simmons' 34.2 free throw percentage this postseason is the worst in a postseason in NBA history. That's bad. That's really bad. And again, I have to point it out. I'm not here to rag on Ben Simmons because, again, he has all the talent in the world. But the reason I've lost faith in him is that he doesn't want to try. Where is the effort? Like Shaq said on TNT, doesn't matter how many shots you miss. You still have to be aggressive. Get to the basket. If you get to the free throw line, just hope you can make at least one. But you have to be aggressive. You can't be a, you can't be a max player, an all-star, and be afraid to take shots. That's why I was sitting there saying you can't coach with him. If, if Doc Rivers is sitting there with this guy, what is Doc Rivers supposed to do to get this guy motivated to want to shoot the basketball? What can a coach do? This man had an opportunity to dunk the ball. He was uncontested, under the basket. Contested, it was it was a um, tightly contested game. I was 84-82 with around, what, three, three and a half minutes left in the game. He's right under the basket, completely uncontested. He could easily dunk it, tie the game. Instead, he chooses it to pass the ball. Why you're under the basket uncontested and you're passing the ball? Why? Because he's afraid to shoot. He was afraid of going up, somebody fouling him, and he goes to the free throw line. Ben Simmons' confidence is shot. That is one of two things. Either his confidence is gone or he just doesn't want it. 
You cannot have Joel Embiid on one leg doing everything he can to get this team to the conference finals, scoring, doing everything he possibly can. And you have Ben Simmons here giving up an uncontested dunk, not even trying to dunk it. What do you do if you're the Sixers? You got to trade this guy. You have to trade this guy. I don't think it's going to work here anymore. Maybe he can go somewhere else and there's a coach that can help him. So, first of all, somebody has to get to Ben Simmons. A coach, somebody, they have to get to him. They have to talk to him. And they have to let him understand and let him know that he has to shoot the basketball. You are an all-star. You are a max player. You can't be in a game seven with a chance to go to the conference finals, you being a star player in a max play as well, you can't be there taking four shots. You're scared to shoot the basketball. And Atlanta knew that. Throughout the entire series, they were just hacking you because they know you can't shoot. Ben Simmons, if you truly care, if you truly want to take that next level, if you truly want to be great, if you truly want to just live up to your talent, your potential, you've got to learn to shoot the basketball. Most importantly, you've got to be willing to shoot the basketball. You've got to be aggressive. And I don't even know what happened to him this series. Because if you go in the regular season, you'll see several performances where he is aggressive. And he is looking to take his shots. And he does it. But throughout this entire series, it wasn't there. Game one, you saw it there. Game three, you saw it there. Even game four, you saw some of it there. But game five, six, and seven, he was just gone. Nobody could see him. He disappeared. I don't know what to do, man. This, If you're the Sixers, what can you do to convince Ben Simmons to shoot the basketball? What can you do to get this man better? What, what can he do? Somebody has to help him. More than that, I feel like it's just in his mind. It's just in his mind. I don't even, a part of me doesn't even feel like it's just a situation where he doesn't want it. Part of me feels like he's so afraid to shoot the basketball, he just doesn't want to do it. Because he doesn't want to go to the free throw line. I, I mean, I just, I don't know. I don't know. This is bad. The lowest free throw percentage in a postseason in NBA history. Three shot attempts in seven fourth quarters in a series. The last five games, the man combines for 14 shots. A star, an all-star and a max player takes 14 shots in three whole playoff games. I don't know what to tell you. And you look at this game, again, he played, he was solid defensively, played well defensively. That wasn't their problem. And then you look at the eight rebounds, 13 assists. Like I said, this guy's talented. He has the talent to do it all. He has that talent to do it all. He can defend multiple positions. He's a playmaker. He he has the size. He has the athleticism. athleticism. He has the ability. But he just is afraid to shoot the basketball. And at this point, Philly, after all this time, I don't think you guys can help him. Maybe a change of scenery could do it. Maybe going out to another team and getting him with a coach that is willing to sit, to just be there with him and work this out and get in his head and tell him, you have to shoot the basketball. You have to have confidence in yourself to shoot the basketball. Something. He's got to be traded. I don't think Philly can do anything else at this point. And honestly, I don't even know how Joel Embiid has to feel about this. Because like you look at him, he's putting everything on the line, going out there and doing what he can with one leg. And his co-star and the second best player on the team isn't shooting the basketball in the fourth quarter. He isn't doing anything offensively for you in the fourth quarter. If you're if you're Joel Embiid, how do you take that? How do you take that? At some point, something's got to snap. That's why I said, Joel Embiid, you better go to that front office and tell them it's you or it's him. Because I don't think this duo can work. We've had questions for them for several years, and we've all believed that it's just not going to work. Sixers fans tried to hold on to the faith that this can work, but honestly, it's just it's not going to work. This duo cannot work. Out of the three years, this was your best chance. The Bucks are a team you can compete with. You could probably beat them. Healthy, you have a great chance to beat them. This was your best chance to get to the finals. And once again, you're out in the second round. Well, over the last three years, second round exit. First round exit, second round exit. Like, this duo is not going to win you a championship. The sooner Philly realizes that, the sooner they can move on from Ben Simmons. <sighs> Again, he has all the talent in the world, but 
he's afraid to shoot the basketball. And I don't think Philly can help him. If he can get to a different team, maybe a different coach can talk to him and, and get get him straight, get him psychologically straight in terms of having the confidence in himself to shoot the basketball and being aggressive and being willing to look for your shots because he's a max player and he's an all-star. He cannot be taking four shots in the playoff game. That is that's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. Ben Simmons, I don't know where your mind is, man, but... You got to get better, man. You got to learn to shoot the basketball. You've got to get your confidence back up. You got to be aggressive. You got to be willing to shoot the basketball because you can't be playing like this in the playoffs, man. You can't, for the amount of money they're paying, you can't be playing like this, dude. Figure it out. Get your mind straight. Gain your confidence back. Get aggressive and learn to shoot the basketball, man. Please. You're a very talented player. Most people understand what you bring to the table. We know you you have the talent to do everything in this league. But your your refusal or fear to shoot the basketball is holding you back. And until you learn to shoot the basketball, you're never going to be the player you want to be. You're so much better than what you're displaying right now. Put in the work. Believe in yourself. Have the confidence. Get aggressive. And learn to shoot the basketball. That's all I got to say, man. I'm out. Peace.